Refresher 2010, the Ford S Max Medium MPV now looks more dynamic than ever, with better levels of equipment and streamlined kinetic design on the facelifted Model 2. S Max prices start from around £21,000 and top out over £26,000, so you can have a Ford Cougar compact SUV for similar cash. However, if you need more space than a crossover SUV can offer but want to retain a stylish drive, the Ford S Max, along with similar models such as the Peugeot 5008, Citroen C4 Grand Picasso and Seat Alhambra, is an obvious alternative. The Ford Fold flat system means you can turn five rear seats into a huge storage space, or you can simply seat seven in comfort. The two rear seats are best for children, but seven adults are possible, and access to the rear is good. There are cubby holes and drink holders all over the cabin, and on some models picnic trays, window blinds and DVD screens for rear passengers. Clever features that add to the image of the S-Max as an ultimate people mover. Standard kit will include dual climate control parking sensors, Bluetooth, four electric windows and numerous airbags, including window airbags over the front two rows. Cruise control and sports suspension are also available further up the range. The S-Max's interior looks smart, with dashes of aluminium breaking up the dashboard and Ford's Space Age handbrake, and it has an excellent driving position with good all-round visibility. For all its seven-seated cleverness, the S-Max looks smart too, shrugging off its size to drive incredibly well. Body roll in the corners is kept to a minimum, steering is crisp and ride comfort is smooth. The Ford MPV will be in its element cruising on motorways, but also feels able around town and won't be difficult to park. It's a car that feels much smaller than it actually is. Diesels will make the most sense for large cars like the S-Max, retaining strong fuel economy and CO2 emission figures, while retaining flexible performance thanks to turbocharging that will allow for good performance throughout the rev range. While the Ford S-Max may not be the largest or cheapest car in the sector, it's an extremely capable all-rounder that won't sacrifice drivability for good interior space or performance for low running costs. Thank you.